Hey guys, it's Caleb Williams here with uh, Better Wealth, and I'm gonna react to a video, and I actually watched the video to make sure that it was it was good. I just typed in whole life scams on YouTube, and this is one of the top videos that came up. It's by Todd uh, Baldwin, and it says, confessions of a life insurance agent, whole life is a scam. We'll, can, we'll use this link and put it in the description below if you wanna watch it. Um, it's a little bit on the long side, so I just I just want to get right to the point. His his whole thing is he is um, a li licensed life agent. He has never sold whole life or IUL. He um, believes that life insurance um, is is great. Like I think we would both agree that you know when when you're raising a family, you have debt, like you you should get life insurance. And um, his whole philosophy really is, and he used opportunity costs by saying if you buy term insurance, in his example, I think it was like $18 a month, gets you $250, $250,000 of life insurance, you're only paying it for 30 years. Um, you take the rest, invest it into an 8% um, fund, and you have a lot of money at the end. And and so versus $99 a month, whole life, $250,000 face amount, never increases. Um, and then all the lost opportunity costs. And so, and then, you know, doesn't go into any illustrations, but just essentially lays out, okay, why in the world would you go with, with whole life here? Um, all the opportunity cost, the, the insurance company only gives you your death benefit when you pass away. And, you know, according to him, it's a six hundred, seven hundred thousand dollar difference. And that's a, that's a pretty dramatic over, over your lifetime. And so he, here's my response to to Todd. Number one, I love his energy. I love how he communicates. He actually had like a Band-Aid on his nose. And like, dude, that's incredible. Like that's incredible, the confidence um, that you're you're true to who you are. Like, I love that. Keep it up. And o overall, I would say for your audience, um, that is the right advice. Um, I have publicly said uh, on multiple videos, even though a lot of people are like, oh, you're the whole life guy. You're the life insurance person. Um, I think majority of people should buy term insurance, period. Like, I think you'd be better off with term insurance. If you want the idea of whole life or IUL in the future, you can get a convertible option. But buy term insurance, invest the difference, and, you know, go go out your merry way. And, you know, at the end of 20, 30 years, your term will drop off, and hopefully your investments do well. And, like, like that's that's great. And a lot of people are like, Caleb, well, you wrote the book, The And Asset, and you, you put money into whole life insurance and all this stuff. And... And, and the answer to that is yes, but you have to you have to have the right mindset. You can't look at it as, as an investment. You have to overfund it, meaning you have to like hyperfund it where most of it goes to cash, early cash value, and less of it goes to the permanent death benefit base contribution. And then you can't look at it as an investment. Like Todd multiple times was like, this is a bad investment. Majority of life insurance agents call it an investment. And all they want is essentially a higher commission. So I'm with this guy, um, but but overall, like life insurance when designed and set up properly should never be called an investment. It should have a lot of early cash value. You should, if you're going to go the permanent life insurance route, you should learn how to borrow against it and see it as an and asset. And you should also understand how that could be a bond alternative or retirement alternative in the future. If you're not gonna go down that path and you're just gonna say, I'm gonna invest my money into whole life insurance versus buying term and investing in the S&P, you're gonna be disappointed. So if you're looking at life insurance as an investment, you're gonna be disappointed. If you're looking at it as a alternative place to store capital, as an and asset, as a, you know, go go subscribe to my channel if you wanna learn more about life insurance, like, like then we could have a conversation. But overall, I 100% am behind the idea of buying term and investing the difference. And most people that don't have the kind of cash that makes sense, that they're sitting on money. They like some people want the security and liquidity and they like their money being private, you know, creditor protected, like that's valuable. Some people that don't care about that and like all they want is put their money into a thing that will grow, then the S&P would be way better than life insurance. Life insurance is a really better place than your savings account. And what we teach is life insurance and investments could be a pretty cool combination. And obviously, um, Todd didn't get into the idea of like if you had a hyperfunded policy and you borrowed against that. And then later on, we don't we, we didn't talk about retirement income distribution and the four percent rule versus the volatility buffer. And so all in all, like like the video that this is my response. Um, again, I. I would encourage you to watch it. I would encourage you to give this guy love, give him a follow. 
um, I think I think we are all going to be better off for being in the world of of communicating and talking and, and challenging and um, and I think I think this was a this was a great video. So let me know your thoughts. Let me know if there's any other videos that you want me to react to. Sometimes I'll watch, um, and sometimes I'll just pre-watch it and and give you the overview and then give give them credit so that you can go watch it down below. Let me know if there's anything I missed. And um, yeah, appreciate you guys. Take care.